aloha pū mehana kākou. Aloha. A pēhea oe e mehana? Ah, mai kai no, mai kai no. E pēhea oe? Mai kai? Oh, yeah, mau no. Mai kai. Well, today, everyone, we have a beautiful guest um, in the studio with us. Before that, I'd like to welcome all of you to Mede Manao with Manu and Mehana o Kala. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mede Manao, Mehana, Manu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and thank you for all of you out there so who am. I've been running into, and I'm sure Manu has been running into, you know, some of you that are in our audience. We've been running into you guys all over the place. And I have people coming up to me going, mm, 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 mm. I just went to it's the palace. It's kind of a thing now. It's, it's a thing. You. It's right. a thing. I went to the palace, and I thought this, you know, there was this woman who was following me, and she kept going, mm, 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 mm. And I <laughs> forgot that we had a show. Yes. That was doing this until she said, I watch you guys every week. So, yeah, to all of you out there, mahalo nui, mahalo. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this show, of course, brought to you by the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement and the Kaiser Permanente Community Benefit Fund. And today we have a hoapili of the both of us, Aye. right? We have known this woman for a very long time, Dr. Kehonani Abad. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo for joining us today. Ke hao, pehe oi. Mai kai, mai kai. Mahalo for having me. This is I'm just, so nice I'm, to be I'm, sitting I'm, at the I'm kitchen just, table with you guys. I'm blinded by the malama lama. Okay, I have a hine at kona le ilima. Right? Oh, my Nani. goodness. You so don't sweet, see le so ilima sweet. very like often. But how coupon of for you? My first. I've never you. had a Really? For real? Yeah. A kahina wo. Oh, wow. Yep. From us to you. And thanks to Rufino, who is Thank one of you. our staff Mahalo members, Nui. who's in charge of yeah. purchasing and, and, it's and grabbing ko, the uh, ko, 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 ya, oh, eh. yeah. Perfect for you. Yeah. Yes. Mahalo. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mahalo. And today we're going to talk about something. You know, it's, it's kind of odd because Kehal is usually on the other side yeah. of the camera, of the editing board, of the script making. She has been the, the genius mind behind many of the things that you all have probably seen before and not known that it was emanating from Kehau and her team. She, of course, is the director of the Native Hawaiian School Network, right? Is that the correct title? Kelly Viku Mo'o. We oh, use okay, that okay. more easy because okay. it's kind of grown. It started like that and then it kind of grew arms and legs. And more, so more, so now we just say Kelly Viku Mo'o. Just give it, a, give it a proper name and then people don't have to. Oh, leave. my yeah. Kai. Okay. Kelly <laughs> Viku Mo'o. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, you kick it. Like and Kanayo Kana, right? Which is. Uh, for most of us, especially through the pandemic, has been one of the key, consistent presence in our life, right? Um, especially through, again, throughout the pandemic, but before and after. And so we're gonna talk about two things today. We're gonna talk a little bit about Kanayo Kana, right? Straight from the person. If you, you guys probably never saw her before, again, cause she's probably always behind the scenes with a lot of those productions. Um, that, and then also La Kuokoa. Well, before, before we get, get to that, you, you that. may have seen her on stage because she, oh, yes. like Mehan Okala, Okay, how are they, the two of them are members of the ladies of Napuale Olikolehua. Oh, yes. So Halau Hula and Kehau is a beautiful dancer. Mehana is a beautiful dancer as well, uh, and uh, graduated Kung Hula. So that's a little bit of the onstage action. Yes, Me that, is yes that is true. Yes, that is true. Yes. After <laughs> this, I am going to practice. There you oh, go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the practice never ends. <laughs> yeah, it not in the Hula world. Never ends. Not in the Hula world. Going yeah. to Hala. Okay. okay. Hala. Anyway, back to, back to you. <laughs> Kanayo Kam, uh, Kanayo Kana Kiala, uh, Kiala Ivikuwa Mo'o. Hai mai oi ko maumana ono Kiala. Ah, well, so there's a huge team that supports Kanao Kana, and that's the Kealiwi Komo'o gang. Um, but Kanao Kana, if, you, if you're not familiar with Kanao Kana, it's a network of all kinds of folks who want to grow Aloha Aina leaders. So mainly mm. it's educators, lots of kula. So kula Hawaii from all over the Pai Aina. Um, mm. Hawaiian Focus Charter Schools, Kula Kaifuni, uh, you have lots of different preschools and then all the way up to like the UH guys. So you have Auntie Hoku guys, Omoe, um, you know, Keikima in Hilo. You have John folks at Manoa. Mm. Um, and so it's it's a lot of different people that are part of this effort. Um, Aina-based organizations. So all, all the normal suspects, you know, from the hui that take care of lots of our Aina that we, we love to, mm-hmm. you know, grow things at, 
fish ponds, so lots of different organizations are part of Kanao Kana, and they all come together to, um, so well, the story behind Kanao Kana is really Kamehameha saw that there was uh, kind of a need to like just bring everybody into the same room and say, how can we support what you guys want to do? Like, mm. We'll pull back and just be, you know, limahama, and you guys tell us how we can be of service to you guys and facilitating what you guys want to do. So that's when they came together and said, okay, our big mission is to grow Aloha Aina leaders. Mm. And we're going to do it in all these different kinds of ways. And so as it, as kind of time passed, you know, you could kind of see where the strengths came in. And one of mm -hmm. them was, um, you know, they said, we want to take policy positions mm -hmm. and we want to go for it. And we want to be our own voice and we want to amplify the voices of our leaders out there on these front lines. So that's where some of, um, maybe a lot of you might have seen Kanao Kana in that context, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Trying to advocate mm -hmm. for Mauna, advocate for Vai and, you know, these kinds of things. So, um, you know, making sure that our leaders in our Lahui have the mic and that, you know, make the mic as loud as can. So try to grow these channels, right? You know, you know one thing that the first time I saw the logo for Kanayo Kana, and that we, I'm going to ask you a little bit about what the, the meaning of that, and it's a net. And I, I felt like I was kind of netted in right away. It was a mm -hmm. very powerful, very simple graphic. And so for those who are not familiar with the meaning of Kanayo Kana, what is Nai, who is Kana, maybe a little bit about that. So it's actually a name that uh, Keiki Kawai'ai uh, suggested for the mm. hui. And, mm. you know, as soon as everybody started hearing about the, the mana'o, and it was so perfect, and, and it was something that everybody um, quickly gravitated mm -hmm. around. So kana, if you're not familiar, kana and niheu are brothers, and they're from Hilo, and their mother is Hina, and kana is... Um, one of those kupua-like figures who, among other things, could take the form of any kind of cordage, any kind of uh -huh, rope of any sort. It could be thick and huge, or it could be thin and long. And um, So it's that netting that brings us together. So if you look at the Kanao Kana logo, it is, a, it is a net, right? So whether you think about all of the nodes in every mm -hmm. single one of us, right? Mm -hmm. we're, one of, we're one of these nodes. And um, so nai, the nai Kanao Kana, Nai is that um, beautiful, fine mesh, mesh yeah. that's the, like behind the ahu'ula where mm -hmm. all of the hulu are tied onto, the uwa are tied onto. So that, and so it's that kind of a close netting, right? We're, we're close to each other and we're, we're not letting anything like slip out and just yeah. you know, fall away, right? It's all gathered in. And the smaller the, the, uh, the, 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 the mesh, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the, the more you're going to catch. So now I bet you a lot of you didn't know the net or the mesh of Kana. That's a beautiful story, Mahalo. Yeah, I think, you know, Atipua taught us, Atipua Kanahele taught um, a group of us back in the mid-2000s, and one of the chants she made us all learn was um, Ya Moku Kele Kahiki. Mm -hmm. And it was, now that you say that, I reflect back on that, because on stage, when we presented that, we wove, all of us, the cast members, we all had these long cordages, and we actually had to cool. weave this huge net on the stage. Um, but it was important for us to to learn the importance and the significance of aha, right, and and cordage um, in our our mo mm -hmm. It's significant with kamupua, like you have all these different all of them, mo all of that have to do it aha. Them, yeah. yeah, so thank you for that. Beautiful, mahalo for the you know, like, do you guys, um, like I had mentioned earlier, had become clutch in the time of the pandemic, right? You guys are were producing. Um, weekly shows, a number of weekly shows um, across and from different organizations. You guys expanded outside of your guys' organization and your guys' network and were the backbone for like Ahakanes um, one, right? Like, so there were different groups who were saying, hey, we need this expertise and um, you guys, you know, have this expertise. How can we amplify our voice, right? And you guys provided that massive support for that, right? And before that, of course, the Mauna, mm -hmm. right? People don't realize that a lot of the the imagery that was coming out of the Mauna that then inspired everybody who wasn't up there, right? Either mm -hmm. inspired them to go there, right? Mm -hmm. And or participate in their own modes, in their own spaces all across the world, right? You guys were the main. And if it was not a Kanayo Kana channel, it was a Kanayo Kana staff or network that was pulling, you know, constantly keeping together 
um, a loose network of, of media, of, of Native Hawaiian media professionals. And there's that Kauna that again for, for Nai. Yeah. That, that, net, that mesh yeah. Is, is a network as well. And you do such great work online as well. You have really good technical support, and it catches people's attention. So it brings people together. And that, yeah. that's the whole point, I would yeah. imagine. You want so, to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, shout out to um, the team, the digital uh, strategy. Digital Strategies and Implementation Team. They changed their names. Yes. So oh, still learning the name. Fancy, fancy Gonzo. And, yes. This is, yep. and this all is the Ryan Gonzo Gonzalez. Yeah. And crew, yeah. So talented. So, um, Great designer. They are, they are amazing, the work that they do. And so it's everything from, you know, producing logos. That's Gonzo's logo that he, um, yeah, he created. Yeah. Um, to you know, doing all of the tech behind the se behind the scenes, editing, shooting, yeah. you name it, trying to figure out the strategy of how to build a following. So that's that social media experts too, I say. Yeah, yeah, and and you know, it's it's there's a strategy, right, to build mm -hmm. that channel right. so that the right. mic gets bigger, right? You got to right. amplify that voice, and you know, sad if only you know get. 200 right. people listening, but you know mm -hmm. when the mic is big enough, then wow, you know it, it yeah. matters. So they they did the whole shebang, and um, like on the Mauna, what was really beautiful about that is that everybody who came up, and there were so many different media mm -hmm. makers, so many, you know, like OEV TV, shout right. out to those guys, you know, um, Kako, um, Haleakala, and you know yeah. all the all the Mauna Uluhulu. channels, of yeah, course, all the Mauna channels, and then yeah. Uluhulu became like the main one that yeah. we were all feeding, right? Because right. it. Um, really, the Mauna didn't have its own channel, but right. all of us helped to feed that one yeah. right. and point everybody, Very effective. everybody, everybody look over there, that's the main one. And then we were all just amplifying that voice, right? So it right. would get pushed out there first and then everybody yeah. would like, you know, just boost it and, and share. But that was, um, you know, and so, you know, oh, one of Bonsai Media, Mikey, you know, mm -hmm. everybody, mm -hmm. so many different right. people right. Um, came came through and just, gave so much time. And it wasn't easy. I remember being up on the Mauna and uh, the energy was, uh, you know, I mean, the energy is, is high energy, right? Um, there's there's all kind of things happen at the same time. And, it, you know, at different times, there would be like these threats that would come from the outside, right? Oh, they're going to come and pull people off in the world. They're going to mm -hmm. arrest today. They're going to do this. Right? So there was pressure from the outside. There's already this energy. And, and for most people, it was good. But amongst the media, the media makers, to navigate all the various mm -hmm. um, hmm, skill sets, um, channels, um, um, our, our capacities, Right, everybody's, there. and you know, it was like a well orchestrated. At sometimes it, it, it was it was <laughs> like just this hot mess of people, you know. But you guys were able to create from from all of that. Nobody, you know, not everybody saw that, right? But I saw it, and I mahalo and mahalo you guys, um, Kihau, for doing that hard work. Plenty of people think, oh, I just I see it, so it's. It's there. It's easy, right? I watched it. I watched this, um, you know, this live broadcast from the Mauna, mm -hmm. the, and so it must be so easy to do, right? But it took so much, kind of um, conversations, navigating, um, seeing who could do what at what time, and then it was long, right? Months. It was a long. It was months, months long. Yeah, it was, it was almost kind of a reflection too of Kapu Aloha, which was the mm -hmm. overriding concept, right. and and really the Kapu the the expected behavior, because that kind of thing with so much energy involved can be chaotic. Mm -hmm. And I think just keeping people, um, not so much in line, but pe keeping people aligned, mm. you know, in that's a way. And I think that's, that. yeah, aligned, I think, yeah. but the couple of let's not forget that that was a, yeah. a very powerful concept mm -hmm. and, and, and perspective uh, that uh, was, was powerful. You know, you know, part of it too is that, like you're saying, right, everybody had a common focus and that made it easy because it was never about, oh, you know, mm. you know, who can get the photo credit or whatever. Right. Nobody yeah. was thinking like that. Right, it was right. just, how do we make sure that we get the story out yeah. mm -hmm. and get our, you know, all of those kia'i who are leading, how do we make sure that their best, the sweetest mummy that they were saying were going to get heard loud and yeah. loudly, clearly. And, and yeah, so that was, that made it easy. So everybody just, you know, kind of, and we're respectful, and, yes, and yes. You know, we have to listen sometimes to what, what's being said, and you know, my cut you law. Yeah, 
So we thank start. you for that. Thank you so much for all of that work, you know, um, coming up. You know, one of the things that's coming up now, you know, um, in, a, in a week, uh, is it this week or next week? Next week. Next week is the actual date, right? The yeah, end of, end of November. End of the yeah, the right. end of November um, is La Kuokoa. Right. And you guys have been already, as Kanayo Kana, been already pushing the messages out. So if you guys have not already subscribed um, to Kanayo Kana's um, social media, please go on on um, Facebook, Instagram. I'm assuming um, TikTok too. Are you guys on TikTok? We're starting, yes. Okay, um, <laughs> TikTok. Miki, how am I going to start off the TikTok by doing a dance challenge? Oh, yeah, yes. after this. Love oh, that, yes. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start off Kana Okana's TikTok channel with but that. La uh, yeah. the day <laughs> of independence. Yeah, yeah. I'm you know, get and you guys to it. well, and so <laughs> La Coco, But I want to explain for those of you guys who don't know. One of the things we didn't mention about um, Dr. Abad is that she's our first Native Hawaiian graduate in archaeology. So that, that's right, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's so humble. She doesn't want to, Or the fact that, you know, it took all those years for the institution, right, to... And you had to basically knock down the wall so that we have the next generations coming into that field. It's an extremely, extremely... I'm going to say it for you because I don't know if you're going to say it, but hostile field to be in if you are a Native Hawaiian. If you are a Native anything, archaeology, anthropology is a very hostile environment. Um, but Dr. Abad, you know, went through that program and really set the, the standard, right, for all the others to come through the Kekuwewa Kikiloi's, you know, um, 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 Oh, right. Cavelu, right. Yeah. Kathy Cavellu, right? I just saw her book in the bookstore, by the no way, kidding. Native Books. Wow. Kathy Cavellu to come in. Uh, even Tai Tengan, he's kind of half. He's anthropology, so he's kind of, sort of, but, you know, not really. But he's up there, too, in, in a very another hostile environment, right, in anthropology. Um, and so you're diving deep into our, our history and our culture, um, it's nothing, it's, it didn't start with Kanao Kana. You've been doing this kind of work for forever. And your father, of course, is the, like, the renowned I was gonna scholar, say. you know, from, yeah. especially... Fred Cachola. His Fred Cachola. name at, at Kamehameha is, I mean, it's, it's legendary, mm -hmm. you know, and storytelling and keeping things moving forward. And now it's particular interest in one of his uh, uh, kulaivi, which is kohala, kohala. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. which is, and you can't get a lot deeper than that. So, right. so right. this here is one of the children of Fred Cachola. Right. No, oh, pressure. Oh no, no pressure. pressure. But definitely you know, but one I went into what I went into. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Mo'olelo and kuakahiko and trying to really, I mean, so to be really honest, I had su super supportive professors, but it, w it was absolutely a hostile field because mm. you're trying to, and you know, you're really trying to use our own ike kupuna to tell the story what, in a way that we think are, is much more accurate, right? What is our history? And, you know, it's way more detailed and way Aye. more accurate and way richer and way more kupuna on all sorts of accounts to use that body of information versus what somebody's going to, you know, maha'o right. dig up, right? right. Well, you, you um, talk about a hostile environment, though. You think about now getting right to La Kuokoa in 1843, is the, the, the world environment against all odds. Timoteo Ha'alilio and, and, his, and his group sent by Kaui Keauli. So a little bit about that. How, how, what did they accomplish and why, why does this matter to us today? Holy, matters bigger than anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what they accomplished, so Timoteo Ha'alilio and um, his, really his assistant, William Richards, um, George Simpson, what they were able to accomplish was to ho'opa'a on a worldwide stage, right, the sovereign independence of the Hawaiian kingdom. Um, it's, of course, it was always, but now it was being acknowledged by these world powers, in particular, mm -hmm. right, um, Britain and France. And even before that, on the, right, be right before that, um, the United States had gone on record, right? Uh, President Tyler announces to Congress mm -hmm. um, that he's, He's fully supportive of Hawaiian independence, and so they're actually the first ones on record to. Mm -hmm. to um, and you guys just released that information, that. which I think was mind blowing to most people, right? I didn't know yeah, that, that either. I, yeah, I'm thinking yeah. That they just December, put that out. December the Anglo Franco proclamation was all about, about England and right. France. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Good. Well, good to know. 
Yeah, that so America actually um, preceding um, La Cocoa and the Anglo Franco um, Proclamation actually acknowledges Hawaii's independence and sovereignty. Yeah. Right. So check then out they, that post. They have shot memory, it. but they have shot memory. Shot, yeah. shot memory. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and you know they were actually integral. So the United States taking that step mm -hmm. was actually integral to La Hoi Hoi yeah, as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. having done that, because all of that's happening at the same time, same time. Right? it's right. a little confusing, but those two things are yeah. pili loa, La Hoi Hoi and La Kuoko yeah. are, are really like mahoi to one another. Yeah, 1843 is a big year in Hawaiian history for right. a, at a number of, of different levels. But how it gets sort of entangled like a mesh, like a nai, you know, in, in world politics, in world powers. And why, why was it important that this little group of islands, the, the most, uh, you know, the most isolated group of, 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 of Mokupuni or Pai Aina, Pai Moku, in the world. The world had eyes on Hawaii for a long time. Mm -hmm. Hawaii has still a lot to offer the world. And so if, if we think about the significance of La Kuoko, it really, and, and La Hoi Hoiea, it really is a reminder to us that even a small nation, whether it's back then or now, can stand strongly and independently on its own and can have that sort of um, prominence really mm -hmm. on a world stage. And if you think about everything that our monarchs were able to accomplish, it was amazing. I mean, so. Hawaii has international recognition before any other, there's nobody in the Asian arena, there's nobody in the Middle Eastern arena, um, certainly nobody in the Pacific arena that has that status. Mm -hmm. Hawaii's the first non-European nation that, to achieve that. Mm -hmm. And it was done um, you know, very methodically, very systematically. And diplomatically. Diplomatically, beautifully, it was mm -hmm. brilliant. You know, so we have a strong educational system literacy like no, none other. Um, and so there are all these hallmarks that when the European nations looked at our Hawaiian kingdom said, ah, yes, well, why wouldn't we acknowledge these folks? And um, significantly, they, they were, our leaders were, were careful to have all of these beautiful relationships, right? Yeah. Like no favorites, like we love you, we love you, mm -hmm. we love yeah. you too, and we're gonna, yeah. you know, make friends with everybody because that was important not to set one entity, um, you know, whether it be France, Britain, United States, wherever, in that place of prominence that, you know, it's just gonna bring everything into that sphere of influence, right? right? They were very careful to balance it. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, it tells us something about the paths that we can take mm. going forward, right? And so I think it's super important for us to, to recognize that, that that was done and can be done. Mm -hmm. Right, that kind of approach. And, you know, it, it has a the great, great outcome, right? We get that Anglo Franco um, declaration, right, um, signed, um, and, and now we have that established relationship. And then, unfortunately, Timoteo Ha'ililio doesn't make it home, mm. right? Um, and so we see the sacrifice that our mm. people took at that time you know worldwide travel is not like how it is today we don't have a bunch of points in our hawaiian miles and we jump <laughs> on a plane and just zoom over um yeah. to europe you know it was it was long um it was there was many many mm -hmm. every day was a new challenge um in traveling especially with our dark skin right if you go look at some of the other mo'olelo um uh, that kuhio for instance yeah. faced and so yeah. forth right like you would see you see that that it wasn't easy but they went they well health they were also fearless. i mean just the physical yeah. health you look at uh liho liho kamehameha elua mm -hmm. yeah. and his vahine yeah. kamamalu uh it was because of being held in the ships for a prolonged uh, period of time that their illness you know took took root and mm -hmm. they too uh, never made it home in their Ola Kanaka. Yeah. So Ha'alilio, uh, and Ha'alilio, we talk about his demise, but how he enters this whole, uh, this whole trustworthy relationship with the Mo'i, with Kamehameha Ekolu, was from when they were babies. Yeah, yeah. So they were put together as playmates, as intimate playmates, and so that's another thing that we're talking about, this kind of world politics, is uh, the, the power of Hilina'i. And when, which is which is uh, to uh, uh, believe and to trust 
someone. When there's not trust, that's not going to happen. The two of them, Kaui Keoli and Ali Leo, from baby time, yeah. were, were good friends and playmates that grew up in, into a period where uh, the world had become smaller in a way, and Ali Leo was entrusted, Mikahili Nai Nui, by Kamehameha Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, in fact, there's a story about Ha'alilio saying to Kawikioli, I'm not sure, exactly sure the reference, but I'm not, I remember reading this, that you know, he's saying, Ha'alilio is telling Kawikioli, mm -hmm. please, not, not, make me do anything else, but, but not that, that. And you know, we don't know whether it was because, oh my gosh, just the huge kuleana of that, yeah. right, to carry. Or um, you know, the, the it was just such a daunting task. Of course, he he does, and he, he rises to the occasion, and then some. Um, but it, he knew it was he knew it was going to be a tough job. Yeah. And he knew the stakes of what was what was on him at that time. I think he didn't want to fail. He didn't want to mm -hmm. fail. And he didn't. Sure. And he did not. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. You know, and one thing about, you think about, as Mehana mentioned, we, it's not Hawaiian Airlines and you go and, and you're there in 10 hours and that's really far uh, anyway. But uh, our, our kupuna, uh, many, many examples, didn't have any problem jumping on a ship and going mm -hmm. way across the ocean. Mm -hmm. That's just part of our DNA, yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So I think yeah. that, that, that when you talk about the fear, uh, but I yeah. think as, as if, if they were like the besties, these two, Kamehameha yeah. III, Kaui yeah. Keauli, and uh, Ma'ali Leo, and just not wanting to let your, right. your your dear friend down. And what a beautiful emotion that was. He may have said yeah. that, but some people will take something like that out of context. So mm -hmm. let's remember that we're, we're all human beings, all all the characters uh, mm -hmm. and the me, the heroes that we're speaking of. So uh, that's just, it's, it just, I've never heard that reference in, in discussion with Laku mm -hmm. and it just It's just right here in my pu'u vai. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's very nice. Thank it you for that. It reminds me of how... Um, you know, they're kanaka. They had, like you said, right? Mm -hmm. Feelings, yeah. emotions, that, yeah. you know, yeah. And there was a lot going on at that time, like you said. Oh, oh, so there was much. just so much activity, yeah. right? Worldwide. Meanwhile, our, in Hawaii, our population, sure. right, our population is decreasing. There's all this other influence, right? Yeah. Somebody just tried to take us over, right? Yeah. Like, right, right, right. And there's just everything. And then you have these two friends who, you know, who, and the king is entrusting you know, someone to go abroad and, and somebody carrying a mission that means more than, than a mission. Right? Yeah. It's not just a job that he's doing. So he's we, really trying to one, one quick thing, I, I, we've spoken about this before, but just a little interjection about what was going on with a, with a young Ali'i at the time. Mm -hmm. So in 1843, uh, Lili'u, uh, mm -hmm. who was known as Lili'u Kamakaeha, was five years old. And her Hanai mm -hmm. sister, Bernice Pawahi, was 12 years old. And so when they began to celebrate the first of the, of the two uh, landmark days, July 31st, 1843, La Ho'i Ho'i'ea, and we don't have to go heavy into that right now because we kind of know. And then the same year in November that in their lifetimes, they celebrated those days every single year the same way Americans celebrate 4th of July. Uh, and other uh, uh, national holidays in other countries. So by the time we get to the overthrow, Liliu is 55 years old. She's celebrated this uh, 50 years annually. Mm -hmm. So the idea of independence was not something that was far-fetched and all oh, that happened back then. It was the get out the pulehu, make the imu, go holo holo and bring in the ia and all of that. And they celebrate big, big, right. big time. And then that all kind of went away. What happened to Laku Okoa? Well, you know, when... The provisional government, right, steps in, does its horrible things, um, and and you know, of course, in the midst of that, all of, all of the things that our kupuna did to hang on, you know, there's this time of struggle, really. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Eventually, what the provisional government does, republic, territorial period, they are pushing purposely Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. instead of La Kuokoa on November 28th, it gets to be Thanksgiving. And so they, and you know, like crazy, why are we, why are we celebrating Thanksgiving? Right, right. right. It, has, it's, it has nothing to do with our mo'olelo. Yeah. Um, you know, these guys that, you know, we know the programs and all that business, but, you know. Yeah, it was basically an American yeah, holiday. so if, if you're my age, you grew up in elementary school making, you know, the kind. Hand turkeys yeah, tur and, yeah, yeah, and yeah, program kind, hat. Yeah. yeah, and we knew the story of the Mayflower and all that kind of stuff. And, and, you know, nobody was telling us mm -hmm. about 
Like, and that's well, not a bad story, but what happened, about, what happened with Aram or whatever? Yeah, right. Yeah. So they, and that was a purposeful thing. That was actually, there's actually this program of, 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 what was it? What do you call it when you, um, patriotic. Yeah. Pro- mm. Patriotic program. Well, that was what, 1906, they, when they, in they the they territory, were, they introduced they were, this, you know, Kamehameha is replaced with Uncle Sam. And Sam who? Who's his mama? Who's yeah. his father? <laughs> Sam? <laughs> But anyway, but so so that's that, and then mother. but then so, but things begin to come back. They ho'i ho'i mai, but they're they're brought back to where they should be. So the whole enlightenment, uh, Dr. K. Kuni Blaisdell yes. with la ho'i ho'i ea, and then uh, who do you credit for the resurgence or the re remembering of la ku o Oh, I don't know. I think that's kaku a pao. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, because it, it's just that. Over time, we started understanding yeah. our history. We yeah. under- started to understand. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah. I mean, it's been a, gr- a thing that's you know grown in our community. Mm-hmm. But you and you really it can't. I think you know La Ho'i got more of the attention earlier on. And yeah. but as soon as you start learning about that, you learn yeah. about La Ho'i yeah. at the same time because they're really they're really happening together. Yeah, they're, they're, they're almost they're, the same thing in a yeah, way. They really are. Yeah. They're like yeah. they're pili law, and so that. I mean, I love that La Ho'i has has some um, very specific practices around it, right? With yeah. the, with mm-hmm. our flag raising ceremony. of our flag, right. and it's you know there's a place that we can kind of look to. Mm-hmm. With La Ho'oko, it's a little bit different, right? Because right? the place it was happening was way oh, over yeah. there, um, and there's there isn't that specific like right. okay, this is the way we mark it. But right. I think that's in some ways that's the beauty of it, right? Because yeah. we can no, mark we can it create. in so many different ways. It's right. just, it's as relevant to be celebrating anywhere in right. the Pai Aina, not just at, you know. Uh, or anywhere just, in the world. In you the world. All those in the world, yes. You can still celebrate it. Um, yeah. Yes. You know, everywhere. As a, as everywhere. A, talking right. about the homeland. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. interesting yeah. that, you know, even in the in our in our uh, our uh, lifetimes of being in the state of Hawaii, just the presence of, of um, Prince Kuhio Day mm-hmm. and Kamehameha Day, those were little things that tended to remind us, even as small kids, that there is something valuable in Hawaiian history. And then little by little, everybody began to remember that, oh, well, September 2nd is Lili Uokalani's birthday right. mm-hmm. and, and all the Ali'i birthdays and what have you. So this is really, really, um, I think it's part of the magic of our history. I mean, things are remembered for different reasons at different times. And here we are talking to our all of our friends here in this pro- uh, mm, 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 program <laughs> about something that, that I don't even think my grandma knew a whole lot about. And right. she's from right. another time. Right. You know, so that's a, that that's mana. There's mana, I think, in, in the kaho mau ana o, o kei o mau mo'olelo. For sure. And we got to mahalo those historians um, that yes. kept the mo'olelo alive in our in, in our life. And we're waiting for us to listen. And then once we started listening to all the and people And one of them is started, Dr. Abad's exactly. father, Fred Kachola. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, exactly. how beautiful is that right in your, own, in your own immediate family? And then allowed us the time to create the, the ceremonies, the recognition that we today in 2022... Um, want to do in honor of that. Yeah. Speaking of that, what's coming up for Laku Oko'a? What kind of things are happening? You know, we just made a post of 10 different celebrations going oh, on. Oh, right on. Uh, yeah, Good all time. kinds of stuff going on. So if you're um, wanting to do something this coming weekend on the 26th, all sorts, 27th, all sorts. So you have um, Kawaihona in Nanakuli doing oh, something. Oh, that's right. Kawaihona is doing Laku is, Okoa. Yeah, Shout out to Kalewa crew. Yep. Um, mm. At Kawaivai, there's happening oh, um, right. that oh, evening. Right. I'm going to miss some because there's 10 of them, but go right. look, go look, got plenty. And then um, Kanao Kana and um, KS Kaiolu is sponsoring um, one at Salt. So if you guys go down to Kakako, um, the barn at Salt, so it's that big cement. Right, the open area. Right, right, right. Building, yeah. yeah. Go there, 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock. We're going to be having all kinds of amazing uh, music, activities, um, lots of crafts. Bring printables because you can get iron on, screen on, print on. Um, 
Yeah. Or bring your white yeah. shirts. Yeah, Everybody white shirts, white shirts or, or light color blank, shirts. Blank or, two yeah. yards. Oh yeah, or, blank two yards. Oh look at us. See, we're thinking pareos already. <laughs> yeah, five yards yeah, makes I'm you a need, uh, I'm gonna need three yards uh, <laughs> just in case anybody wants to, you know. Two yards makes a pareo, and five yards makes a pau. Yeah. So, <laughs> or make right. a smaller one for scarf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or a scarf. Yeah. But somebody gonna show up with a well, bolt of material. And then Rihanna said, I mean, "No, don't do that." But yeah. the point is, I, I'm sure on other islands too there must be things yeah, happening yeah, elsewhere okay. because okay. the consciousness has grown and that's a beautiful thing and well, it's it having one yeah yeah it's positive it makes you feel good it's part of our identity um as as, as hawaiians as a part of this lahui and, and kaiaulu and even for those who are not of our lahui it's part of their identity in a way too this is part of our fabric if you will no Fabric uh, pun there. We got you. Actually, that's what Bye. I meant. <laughs> but it, the fabric of our society, of our community. Ah, yes, Mana's always trying to hako a melee while we do this show. <laughs> <laughs> so, excuse me, hey, he's making he's making up a melee right now. Yeah, I was doing emotions. Yeah, yeah he's too. doing hula motions yeah. too already. Yeah, because hula people are the best people. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. You know, oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, you know. Anyway, you know, we'd like to thank Dr. Abad for coming on today and sharing her time with us um, here and just a, a little bit about her work with Kanae Okana. Again, go and subscribe to all their different channels if you want to know what's going on in the community, right? They are a hub for, of, of information and of knowledge from all across our Paina, right? You guys are just becoming so, or not becoming, have been so important in that area. Um, and go celebrate La Ku'o Ko'a, right? This may have been your introduction to La Ku'o Ko'a, but go look some more, right? Go and have activities going on all across the Pai'aina, and then go read them, go look their channel. Um, you guys produced a movie not too, uh, a few years back. Pa'akeo Puni. Pa'akeo Puni, when we were all at the Office of One Fears. Yes. But um, Kihaldem and her team produced that, and it was amazing. It's a, it's a great way to learn about this particular time in our, in our history. Yeah. So go check it out, Pa'akeo Puni. I think it's out there. It's out on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Um, Easy so, to find. Yeah, go get them, go get them. Mana, anything else? I'm, I'm still dazzled by your lay Ilima there, right. and I'm glad that uh, in this, uh, you know, she and I are visiting from Kamehameha schools. <laughs> right. She's the guest, I'm one of the hosts, but uh, it reminds us of the, of the richness of our Ali'i heritage and the Ilima, uh, which has also had become over time in the 1920s, sort of the floral symbol of O'ahu, and you know, why not? Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's beautiful, and I think it's just, it's kupono, no ke'i Allah, the richness of our heritage, the richness of the color of the Ilima and why, and the difficulty in, in keeping it together or make putting it together is mm -hmm. another metaphor, I think, of what, we, mm -hmm. what we're trying to do. Uh, there are always challenges ahead of us, but you get that, you acquire that hili na'i, trusting one another and giving each other reason for trust. Be pono, be kupono, and uh, your lay will be complete. Oh, mahalo, Manu. Anything Ma else from you, Kehal? Just mahalo Is nui for letting me <laughs> hang out with you guys today. Love it. Anytime, mahalo, anytime mahalo. you like come hang out, come back, come back. <laughs> yep. um, we could always use it. I mean, like we could talk about any topic with Kehal. We could go throughout, yeah, a whole bunch of topics. We're still gonna have yeah. the hula chat. Yeah, we're gonna have a hula chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, soon, soon. That's and then don't up. forget. Uh, midnight Manao, sometime yeah, soon. Sometime oh. soon. Yeah, midday yeah. is fine, but midnight okay. Manao. That's, That's going to be good fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll sip and talk. Yeah, on sure, that sure. one. So from all of us to all of you, um, again, from our sponsors, the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, and of course, the Kaiser Permanente Community Benefit Fund, Benefit Fund, we thank all of you for joining us. Come check us out next Friday, same time, same place, on Midday Manao. Aloha. Hui ho kako. Hi, aloha. Aloha. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. mm.